uh, Fumu and Skyrazen are fighting. But right now... Alright, so on stream, we still have a turtle, and now we have a return of our lamp friend. From Eskadale and Sorry Tag. It, this is true. He's he's wearing a dragon on his head, but he's playing a turtle. Ooh. Oh my lord, it's been so long since I played Chandelier. I do not remember these moves. And that was like one of the characters I used to know. But anyway. Okay, this looks rough. We have two characters that do obscene amounts of damage with terrible frame data versus each other. I don't forget if Blastoise is, quali is uh, classified as a power character or not, but um, I don't know. I don't know if his damage is that good or if his zoning is just really good. Alright, so Eskadil makes it past these counter-piercing projectiles only to get bought back by Charge X. Oh, is that gonna, that's not gonna kill. That barely does anything. It's a combo dojo combo. It shouldn't do anything. Eskadil trying to find a safe way in. Or, or, you know, he doesn't. I guess he was thinking he really didn't have to, because um, unless Chandler hits the laser button, you're in good shape, because those projectiles are slow and have terrible priority, except for, of course, the laser. Eskadil will go and play in the walk and block game, except for that. What? Oh! What? I mean, I'm sure there's a scientific explanation for that, but I don't know enough about Blastoise to explain it. <laughs> Is that like low stance freight or low properties in field? Because I guess that's a thing. Okay, so Sorry Tag is getting a lot of mileage just off of laser, charged lasers, and because now he knows that counter piercers are not Rapid Spin's friend. No, not his friend at all. Eskadil does have burst, and I don't remember how much, how far his burst travels when he mashes it. His burst attack, I mean. Otherwise, I'd be watching for him just push anything and then capitalize on that. But he is out of burst now. Sorry, Tag in really good position right now. Mmm. That Y move is will not save Blastoise. What did he push on a wake up? He did not push block. He gonna get burned. Okay, thank you for the clarification. So, that was Shell Fortress stance is one thing I learned. And the second thing I learned is that avoids highs in field. See that? That's a shell. Also known as, like, yeah, a shell. <laughs> so, yeah, as long as. As Eskadale is sitting over there, I don't know if you can hear him, he said he was gonna play other characters until it all went downhill. And he says now it's going downhill. So he's gonna go back to his tried and true chomp. Yay! Like, he has this plushie and it's just really cute and it makes Garchomp cute. Alright, so we're gonna see how Eskadale operates around a Chandelure. These projectiles are working leagues better because they're going around Chandelure's projectiles. The dig is okay, but it's obviously not something you want to rely on. Eskadale is also really good at using the dive pick. Somehow I find myself always biased whoever player one is, so I apologize. Hmm. Sorry, Tag, getting him out of the corner successfully, though. Taking the corner for himself. Gonna catch Dig out of the ground with Charge Laser. Do not stop using Charge Laser unless it stops working. And it's still mostly working except for that. That was an unfortunate catch. It didn't go straight into duel. Oh no! This could bring this back with the combo into release X. Somehow, sorry, Tech wound up with the burst already. That? What? Okay, Release X as broken as it is, is no match for Chandelier's equally broken 8Y. Dig fixes all of Eskadale's problems. I thought that was an overheat. I would just freaking laugh, but no. It was the classic grab versus grab tech. That trips up so many people. I can't even... If I had a dollar every time, like, the grab after grab trips somebody up, I would already be on a more majors. But anyway. 
Skadale doing standard chomp pressure. Mixing up a little bit. Not able to charge the sand tomb in time. Safety Frog gonna stop Chandler from doing anything. Keep her in the corner. Sartag trying to play the mix-up game. Fortunately, Chandler dash, I think is what that was, is just too slow. Skadelna really nicely. He knows he doesn't have to get anywhere near Chandler right now. As long as he can play ninja around Sorry Tag's projectiles, he's okay. But Sorry Tag is on match point. Sorry Tag keeping guard chomp out for the time being. Dig will help out. YYY helping. Sorry Tag really wants that double debuff X, but he knows this is not a good time for that. The 2Y would have got him in though. Tries to overheat his way out of the corner, but gets bopped by face shift points. Archop is now plain, as opposed to being debuffed, so Hex isn't going to do squat. Except for emotional damage, but Eskadale's moving too fast for that. That is a long stun time from what was that, 6Y or 6X? I don't remember. But anyway, that's been a nice snazzy buff. Sorry, Tag's running out of burst. He's gotta make something happen. Dash is in. He's got a double overeat legally because of Espeon. Being really careful about it, because he does not want to get hit by Garchomp's burst at full power in rage because that would just not be fun. Overheat, okay. Good job waiting out that burst from Sorry, Tag. Espeon bringing Lamp back to full power. Escadale, yeah, he's, he wants you to save her up. He's gotta wait for a time that is safe. And that was a safe time. Smog wrecking Chandelier like it usually does. And one of Chandelier's very few non-counter piercing moves gets countered. Who was it that I was talking to, or maybe it was somebody on the screen the other day that was saying Chandelier, or sorry, Garchomp actually has is one of the is on the good end of counters that don't have a lot of vulnerable frames. Like, I think Decidueye is, like, is the, is, the, is the bar, sets the bar for having no vulnerable frames, but Garchomp is a pretty high. I don't know. Uh, Suicune is way down below. It's terrible. But, anyway. Skadale jabbing into the corner, respecting Sartag's options, because he can overheat whenever he wants. At least X gets caught by Jump Y. Alright. Dashes in, gets caught by the counter. Stone Edge will carry that. Chandelier's poor HP cannot take much more of this. Nice CADC from Sorry Tag. How do you call that out? How do you call that? Escadel keeping his spacing so he doesn't get hit by that stuff. Okay, sorry Tag. Trying to go for the grab versus grab. But Escadale will not fall for it this time. Alright, sorry Tag taking the lead this time on the smidge. Both of them are super close to duel. Dig working! It's always a, just a historical moment when Dig finally does something good. Isn't it great? It's great for the Garchomp. Chandelier landed a lot of hits, but it's actually pretty even. Face shift points will save Chandelier, though. Umbreon will probably help, too, in a little bit. I don't know. Okay, so Escadale must have still been in homing for that to have worked. Sorry, Tech varying his projectiles very nicely. Oh, gets caught by Dig, though. Skadale fearing nothing from Elise X's. Uh, this is uh, like an iframe on startup or something? I'm not sure. But anyway, Escadale will zoom his way through that round and take the game and take the set 2 1 with his trusty Sir Chops alive. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't read. This is Winner's Finals. DQ. DQ. Judge. Never mind, nobody won yet. It's anybody's game.
make sure you guys are alright. <laughs> Boo Boo's breaking stuff over here. Do you want to come break stuff on the mic or you want to just be there? <laughs> you don't... Oh, you, okay. Boo Boo's gonna come to say smart I things. To be uh, where's my soda? Ah, uh, soda! Sorry. Yay, we're saved. Who has the soda? It is a squirt thirst quencher, caffeine free. Just thought you should know. Yeah. So, get you curious. <laughs> sorry, Tag. Bring it out as Mewtwo. Yeah. So. Give up on the Shandy dream tonight. I don't know. Garchomp just does so much damage. Mm -hmm. It can just dive bomb so much, dive kick so much of Chandler stuff. I, I can't remember if the Garchomp's determined that the matchup actually kind of evened out between uh, Garchomp and Shandy. Because I know previously it was in Garchomp favor, mm -hmm. uh, one of the few, I think. Um, Ooh. So, good side strike call. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Tech still playing a safe distance game now, even though they use me too now. Mm -hmm. Safe crowd coming in clutch. Ooh, okay. Not, that was kind of weird. That wasn't really sex, was it? It was. Oh, well. Mewtwo aerial game too strong. Garchomp ground game too strong, but he's a ground type. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, committed too much. Well, I think if he tried to see it, he see it when it worked out. Mm. Oh, dang. He's gonna be some mix-ups. No. Brings it back with Ice Punch. Z? Okay. It was kind of hard to tell with all the, uh, the projectile animation going on. I didn't know if he was charging up. Dig! Dig! Dig, all dig the is way. good! It's good! <laughs> <laughs> we give Neil so much crap. <laughs> <laughs> dig is coming back in style. I think it is. <laughs> Honestly, it, it's a fairly decent move. It's just one of those punishable moves that's like. It's really risky to use, and you don't want to throw it out like crazy, but... Right. Plus some block with that fire spin. Not opting for the cookie cutter frame trap, but he gets some good mileage into duel. Ooh, That's yeah, a punch ball. It paints you a canvas. Put any attack you want on it. Double side strike, because who sees that coming? So no mix up, mix up. No mix up. Mix up to everybody. <laughs> Ooh. Right. You two combo from. Oh my god, I had that. Down. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, clank that time. Yo. Alright, Garchomp's boost is honestly like. <laughs> Fair and balanced? Total, totally fair and balanced. <laughs> it, it's just funny because like because it has the red arm frames, you can't you can't attack it, you obviously can't count 